Hello folks, now I've got two pieces of wood here, one, two, and I want to cut them in half, and I want both pieces of wood to be lined up, see? So this piece of wood here is the same length as that piece of wood there. So what am I going to do? Well, I'll just shut, quickly go through it. Basically, I'm going to use good old fashioned inches because I know I've got a lot of people in America have a look at these videos. I'm using one of these steel rules, well, retractable ones. And that's 31 and just about, well, it's just about two eighths. So I'm going I'm to make a mark here at 15 and about an eighth. 15 and a half and a, just a little bit of an eighth, just over. Just sm smidge over 15 and a half. Do that. Get the old square. Uh, if you can see that. And basically I've got my pencil. I'm just going to put the square against one side. Draw a line across there. With my old pencil, if it works. Pencil's gone on a strike. Obviously not. Stop, it's gone away, my pencil. Not getting paid enough. <laughs> right, anyway, there we go. So I marked a line across there. I don't know if you can see that on the video. There we are. And I'm just going to turn it round. Now, can just see the mark at the top, so I'm just going to mark it off. And I'm making sure that the ends, there, the level. Now I'm just doing that roughly with my fingers, because I, I don't need to be too accurate with that at the moment. And I'll show you why. Sometimes what I do is I'll get a piece of wood at the end, and I'll hold these two pieces of wood. For example, you could use the end, these are only small bits of wood, so I could use the end of the square, that bit there, and I can put that at the end, I'll show you, like that, just to make sure that the, the two surfaces are flat against the end there. And um, of course then the two lines are lined up. Now, when I want to cut these two bits of wood, what I can do, obviously I've got a one of these um, workbenches here and I can clamp it in between these bits of wood on the workbench but unfortunately what can happen is when you're putting it in it will slip so what I'd prefer to do is I've got a couple of G clamps and I've got a bit of cardboard and the reason I've got a bit of cardboard is don't matter in this case because if it gets damaged don't it don't hurt but I'm going to clamp the G clamp on the top with a bit of cardboard. Now the reason I'm, actually I'll just put my pencil on the bottom shelf but uh, never mind. The reason I'm using a bit of cardboard is so I don't damage the surface of the wood. Okay so that's got them firmly together so they're, 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 they're held pretty pretty solid there. Now I've got another bit of cardboard somewhere. Um, talk amongst yourselves. I'll have to cut another bit of cardboard. There we go. That'll do. This is, as I say, it's for demonstration purposes, this bit of cardboard. I could, in this particular job I'm doing, I don't really need to worry too much because uh, the wood's going to be on the inside anyway, so nobody's going to see it. I'll just put the other G clamp on there. Just do them up. And it might make sure that all the bits of wood are nice and square together, you see. Because it's easy to hold them when they're out, out like this. That's easy enough to hold, yeah? But when it goes inside this uh, rickety old bit of uh, workbench here, you ain't got so much control over it. So what I'm going to do is just move the bench along a little bit there. 
Yeah, so hopefully you can see what I'm up to. Uh, I could do with a nice lady to hold the old, uh, hold the old camera. Maybe the 14th of. Uh, if there's any nice young ladies in the old uh, United Kingdom, uh, probably about 30. That'll do me. I'm not being too specific, am I, ladies? <laughs> but anyway, you make Dave happy, bloke, hey? Eh? 14th, I'll make you happy, happy lady, eh? Yeah, here we go. Keep Dave happy. But you do with a good woman. You can probably tell. <laughs> he probably wouldn't make so many videos eh, if, he, if he had a good woman anyway what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the end now I'm just going to move that around a bit there I don't know if you can see now I've got a tenon saw here 10 inch R point tenon saw there's 12 points per inch on this one it's an old one good old faithful this one I've had it for a few years they probably it's made in England. Look at that, made in England. Made in England. Oh no! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I'm telling you, something that's made not in China. Amazing, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> bet, bet most of you watching are in shock now, aren't you? Poor old Chinese. They'll be going, no, no, no can't be happening but anyway it's true so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw the saw back a little bit I'll draw it back I don't know if you can see this very well you probably can't because the uh, g pants in the way what I'm going to do if I can do it it's a bit awkward at the moment as I say sorry about this folks it's uh, I'm bottle washer as well. I'm just going to move things around a bit here. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this. You may or may not. Okay. Right. And in case you're wondering where my workshop is at the moment, I'm in the kitchen, ain't I? If I had a woman in here, she she may say you can't do that in the kitchen. You've got to do that outside. And what I'm doing, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just getting a, and, and the, the whole point of using the tenon saw is that you're going to go down now. What I'm going to do now is once I've started that end off, I'm going to stop the video. Uh, I'll, I'll make a part two on this one. I need the line.